and we are making sweet pickled ginger today. If you've never made the sweet pickled ginger before, then stick around. Hello, my name is Beef, and if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I make small tasty recipes for me and my plus one out of our tiny apartment kitchen. Our recipes are small, easy on the budget, and easily scalable for more serving. So let's get cooking on this sweet pickled ginger. Welcome back. And we are making sweet pickled ginger today. I have two pieces of ginger root here. Well, I went ahead and peeled this raw ginger. It goes great with so many dishes, whether it's raw, pickled, dried, or whatever. The most important part of making pickled ginger is you got to cut it thin. There's no getting around that. We're going to go ahead and get this brine going. Sugar, vinegar, a jar. We got our ginger sliced. And I'm going to pickle this for probably 20 days. You know, let's do this first find out how much volume we have to deal with. Because I don't want to use any more vinegar than I need to because I'm running low. And this is our pandemic uh, vinegar. <laughs> if you saw my first pickle video, that's still the same bottle. Considering all the dishes I make. So it's, it's right about there. So we're not dealing with a lot of liquid. Uh, at the most, it would be right about that mark. So let's go ahead and dump this out. We're going to add vinegar. I'm just going to fill it probably be halfway to that mark. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of sugar. I need some extra liquid in there because that's going to be too much vinegar and just sugar. So I'm going to add some water. I'm thinking about taking it up to that mark that we thought you know, this is the thing about pickling. It just depends on what you're looking for for your end product. And for me, I have a tendency to have a sweet tooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a teaspoon on top of the tablespoon that I put in there. Now, if you were planning on using this tomorrow, I would recommend warming up this liquid in the microwave for a little bit. Go ahead and add your ginger. But we don't plan on using this tomorrow. It'll probably be at least a week or two. So we're just going to go ahead and add the ginger to it. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and label this. I label it on the, on the side as well as on the top because I'm not sure how it's going to always move around in the fridge. And welcome back. It's been three days since we pickled this ginger. On the second day, pulled it out, took a bite out of it, just to see if it was heading in the direction I wanted. It was a little bit on the sour side. So I, I took the ginger out, took pictures uh, for this video. And then what I did was I added another teaspoon of sugar to this ginger. You're going to find that happening, especially when you're dealing with small quantities like this. The last time that I made pickled ginger, it was in a jar like this. Put the salt shaker in there for scale. And this is a Classico jar. I actually made enough ginger to fill it up to the top. I use the same ratios, but when you deal with a quantity this small, very minute changes in your ratio will drastically affect the end product because you're dealing with a smaller quantity. The margin for error is going to be different. I added more sugar to it and because it's already been brined, the sugar will take a little bit longer to meld into the ginger. I do not suggest reheating your pickling juice and putting it back in. That's not going to work because the pH difference is already changing because of the reaction between the vinegar and the vegetables. We like the narrow jar. If I could get this jar just a little bit taller, that would be perfect for us. Because then I can get more variety in the bottom of our shelf. So that's why I prefer these small uh, jars. 
Also, we don't need to make pickles that'll last this uh, six months to a year. Most of our pickles that we make, I try to make them last around two months at the max. And then I'll just make it again. Or if we've had enough of it for a while, I'll just make something else that'll fit down in there. It's been a day since I tasted it and it, it's already taking on more of that candy flavor that I like. So it, it's a learning thing. When you're doing pickling to serve within a week or so, I suggest making your pickling and every other day, you go in there, take a little piece, taste it and see if it's heading in the direction you want because you still have time to adjust it before you actually have to serve it. Thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you soon. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge. Adios. Thank you so much for watching this video on making sweet pickled ginger. If you like this video, then please like this below. There are also links on the screen for other 2 plus 0 dash cooking recipes. Remember to subscribe and you'll be notified of new videos every week. As always, I have a summary of this recipe below in the description. And also please visit our website, 2 plus 0 dash cooking.com. If you have any comments or ideas, then post them below. We love hearing from our viewers and answering their questions. We also invite our viewers to share their ideas or recipes with each other in the comment section. Thank you for watching, looking forward to hearing from you, and see you soon. Be thou. As always, the following are dishes that are taken to another level by using the pickles we made today and in the past.